Welcome back. This week, Book Creator. How to make digital books with Book Creator. I think I'll be uh, a cartoon this week too. Let's see how that goes. What is Book Creator? Well, it's a powerful program. It gives you many tools to make all sorts of books and with it you can let your imagination run wild. What are some things you can do with Book Creator? Well, you can draw, you can import pictures from the internet, you can edit fonts and change colors of, of letters or backgrounds, change custom backgrounds, you can add speech bubbles to characters, uh, and you can even create essentially comic books. Uh, you can also even use your camera on your Chromebook or your if you have a camera on your computer and record things too and many more things you can do with Book Creator. The point is it's pretty cool. So let's read a story that I made about two monsters. Godzilla versus Space Godzilla after the classic movie. Once upon a time, Space Godzilla was flying through space as a giant crystal. He was flying towards a pale blue dot in the distance. Somewhere, something was drawing him toward this tiny planet covered in water. Meanwhile, Godzilla was minding his own business on Earth, walking around in the ocean. Little did he know, but Godzilla's cells were transported up into space, and they mutated to create a crystal monster. From space, <laughs> the crystal monster descended into the Earth's atmosphere and devastated the unfortunate city that it crashed into. <gasps> Godzilla sensed his this rival creature and stomped forward to meet it in battle. He gave a huge roar! <laughs> Space Godzilla roared back and <laughs> fired his death corona beam attack at Godzilla. Godzilla was hurt and almost defeated, but then he felt his power rising. His power flowed through his dorsal spines and he fired his atomic breath. Finally, Space Godzilla was defeated and the King of Monsters saved the planet from the Crystal Terror. The end for now. This is Book Creator and it's really fun. You can make almost anything. You can even use this button up here to read to me. Let's have this read to me. Space Godzilla roared back and fired his death corona beam attack at Godzilla. Roar. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> so let's learn a little bit more about how to make things. So if you go to the assignment here, and uh, it says uh, next, after we're watching the video here, next click here to go to Book Creator. Okay, so we can click this link to go to Book Creator, and it says click sign in, and then sign in with Google or Clever. Okay, so well, let's click right here, and let's look for sign in. Where is sign in? Here it is. So we click sign in. This is the sign in screen. Okay, and if you're a student, you sign in here, and you can either sign in with Google, just by clicking Google, or sign in with Clever. It's basically the same two different ways. So let's click a sign in with Google, and you can choose your account, your uh, student PPS account. When you first sign in, uh, you may see you need to join a library. If you're not working with Book Creator yet, uh, then you need to put in a code. Well, I put the code for my library back in the Seesaw assignment, okay? So you can look there and you can put in the code. It's a few letters and numbers. But if you're already working in Book Creator, it will take you automatically to making books. And to make a new book, you can click New Book. And you can choose what kind of book you want to make. Is it just a portrait like I made, square landscape, or is it like a comic book style? Okay, so maybe I'll make, a, I'll just make another portrait book. They seem kind of fun. Now, let's get started making a cover for a book. 
But what kind of book do I want to make? Well, I think it would be a good idea to do an example of making a book based on just a type of animal that I like. Okay, so I like cheetahs. I like cheetahs a lot. So I'm going to make a book about cheetahs. So you click the little plus button in the top right to add stuff to your book. And we can add some text. Clicking text. And I can title, title my book, Cheetahs by Kyle Curte. Done. Okay. Well, it's okay, but I kind of want to edit it a little more. How do I make my words bigger? How do I make them more bold? Okay, well, you can highlight, click a bold right there. Uh, but I want to change it around even more. Okay, well, I can rotate it. Okay, and I can drag how big the box is here. But to edit my words more, I need to go up to this little eye up here. Okay, that's like the uh, options menu. Now I can change how big my words are by scrolling this bar. So I want it to be pretty big because it's the title. Cheetahs by Kyle Curte. And I can change how big this bar is here if I want my whole name to be sideways like that. I think I like it like that though. But how do I change my boring background? Okay. I got to click off of my words. Okay. And just click just nothing. And I can click the I. And it'll have options for just the background. So I can click any of these kind of colors. If I want my book to be a solid color, I can even pick a uh, different paper. You can experiment with all sorts of different kinds of patterns and background types and textures and all sorts of things. Maybe, ooh, that's a cool one. I'm gonna stick with this one. Now, how do I add a picture of a cheetah? Well, this is how you do it. You go to the add button, and you go to import. That's the top one right here. You go to import. And now I can search right away, straight away on Google. Google Images right here by clicking in this search bar. And I can type whatever I want to search for. So I could type Space Godzilla, right? And it gives me some pictures of Space Godzilla. Not very many, but some. Or I could type, for example, cheetahs. Cheetah. Oh, there's some really cool cheetahs. Oh, I love this one where he's snarling. So I'm going to click on it and select it with this little uh, box in the check. That means it's selected. You can select more than one. So you don't, you don't want to select too many, okay, unless you want to add a whole bunch of pictures all at once. So just click on one, and then you want to click select. And there we go. But it's covering my words, so I need to click on it and drag it around. And I can resize it. All right, cool. I kind of like it. There we go. Cheetahs by me. I want to go on to the next page. Well, to do that, I can click next page arrow right here on the side. And uh, I probably want to change my background again. I don't know if I want to have all white. So I can, again, click without having anything selected. I can click on the eye for options there and maybe I'll change it to dark background maybe brown background I like that and now I need to write some information but I don't really know that much about cheetahs I know some uh, I could try to write what I know but I want to kind of learn some more things well how do I get some more information well an easy way to do that is you can go to my website to do, go to my website, you can always just type in the search bar, Markham Wix, W-I-X, okay? You can also just type in any old Google search bar. You can type in Markham, M-A-R-K-H-A-M-W-I-X, Markham Wix. And the first result will get you to my new website. And you can search for animals or anything really uh, that you can think of or you want to learn about in this World Books for Kids little search bar right on the front page of my website. So let's type in cheetah and press enter. And look at this. 
it comes up with a whole bunch of cool stuff related to cheetahs, and it comes up with a page on cheetahs. This is a great little encyclopedia, basically, the World Book Encyclopedia. And we can click on this Read button, and it'll read to us. The cheetah is a large wild cat. Cheetahs live mostly on grasslands in Africa. Over short distances, they are the fastest land animals in the world. Cheetahs can run 50 to 70 miles, 80 to 110 kilometers per hour. Wow, that's really cool. So now I can uh, take that information and put it into my book. So I go back to Book Creator here, and I can go uh, add text, and I can add some text. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world, right? What else did that book say about cheetahs? Well, we can add another text box. Cheetahs can run up to 50 to 70 miles per hour. What was the kilometers per hour? Do you remember? I think it was 85 to 110 kph is kilometers per hour. So I can put these on my different pages. I can edit them by going to the I, and after I select them, I can make them the text bigger or smaller. I can make it bold. I can even change the font. I didn't show you that one yet. Try to pick one that you can easily read, okay? I kind of like this one, Montserrat. Let's edit this one too. Let's make these words a little bigger too and make them bold. Let's do, instead of open signs, let's do Montserrat again. Cool. I need to put some more cool cheetah pictures in, right? Okay, so let's go to import again. Search for cheetahs. Oh, wow. They're so beautiful. I love cheetahs. They're so, so pretty with their patterning, and they're so lean and fast and so cool. Let's put one more picture of cheetahs in. Ooh, there's a good one of it with uh, some kind of, ooh, it's it's got, uh, it's kind of sharing some kind of killed antelope with, uh, maybe that looks like with a, uh, a hyena or something. Very cool. All right. That is an example of how to make uh, a book. And you can add all sorts of cool other things too. For example, uh, let's have the cheetah here saying something. Okay. If I want to make my cheetah saying something, I need to go to add and I need to go to shapes. Okay. And I can make a speech bubble or a thought bubble. Watch this. I can have my cheetah saying something. I can drag where the speech bubble goes, and I can have it going right to the cheetah. And the cheetah can be saying something like, mmm, yummy antelope. Or something like that, for example. Uh, you can change the size and the shape of your text bubbles. This is how you can make a great little, uh, for example, comic book. You can even add pictures of, say, like a toy or something, if you have a camera with your uh, Chromebook. You can use a pen tool, too. Watch this. Let's use the pen tool to draw and add some things, OK? Well, I like to use the marker or the paintbrush. And then I can choose the size of it and the color right here. Okay, so let's make a let's make a maybe like a red. And let's see what should the what should we say? Cheetahs. Let's just write out cheetahs. <laughs> you can add uh, you can erase too with the eraser like that. You can use the paint bucket, okay, to fill in the whole picture. You probably want to do that at the beginning. You can even add emojis and stickers too, right here. 
You can add all sorts of cool things. Let's see if I can find a picture of a cheetah. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can search the emojis. No cheetah pictures. Well, I can still put a picture of a cat in since cheetahs are very large cats. Okay. And there we go. I added some more cool decorations to my pages. This is tur this book's turning out pretty great. I probably want to maybe draw something on the pick on the front too. If I want, maybe I could draw some some antelope blood in his mouth or something. But this is just the beginnings of what you can do with Book Creator. Now, let's say I finished my book. Let's say I put out at least a couple more pages. Try to make at least three pages uh, if you're going to make a book and uh, or more. You can always make a lot of pages like I did with the Space Godzilla book, right? You can make a whole story. When, you're, when you think you're all basically done with your book, you can go back to my books right here. And if your book doesn't show up, you might need to click the refresh button on your page right here for it to show up. Then to share your book with me and with your friends in your class. This is how you do it. Right down here is the sharing button. Okay. So you click share and you got to click publish online. Okay. Ta-da. Publish online. And you got to give your book a title. Okay, if you didn't title it already here, so let's do cheetahs. And the author is me, of course. And it says, once published, your book can be read by bookcreator.com with a private link. Blah, 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 blah. You can share it. So let's click publish book. Oh my goodness, my book is online. Now, how do I share it with my teachers and my friends in my class? Well, you need to click right here. It says copy public share link to clipboard okay so this little this little underlined link right here you click it and it says copy to clipboard down there if you saw that happen real real quick let's do it again see copy to clipboard that's how you know it's copied right there now we can close this we go back to seesaw and we go to add response to the assignment and then you can click link right down here and you can paste your link by pressing control V okay control V control you hold it down and then you press V okay and that will paste that's the shortcut for pasting and once you paste you'll see your book creator link show up with all those sorts of numbers and letters here and uh, then you just click the check mark and there we go there's my cool book I made you can click the check mark and you are all done I hope you had some fun making a cool book with book creator and I'll see you guys next time Roar. <laughs> Roar. <laughs>